Hello and welcome to Encovo's tutorial on how to rename an extension. A reason why you would want to rename an extension is if someone has left the company and you have someone new starting. Rather than creating new extensions all the time as that would clutter up the system, it is easier to just reuse the same extension numbers by renaming them. First thing that you do is to connect to your IP office where you will see the configuration page that looks something similar to this. Once the configuration page has been loaded, simply select user from the left hand side shown here. Next click on the extension that you would wish to rename. This will bring up the information shown here on the right hand side. On the right hand side, click on the field next to name, then enter the extension name that you would like to appear on the phone. After you have done that, Click on the field next to full name, then enter the extension name that you would like to appear on any reporting software. Once you have completed these changes and are happy with them, simply press the OK button on the bottom of the screen shown here. After you have clicked OK, you then need to save the configuration back to the phone system by pressing the save icon located here on the top left hand of the page. A window will pop up that will look something similar to this. Depending on what type of changes you have made will depend how the configuration is saved back to the system. As the option for merge has been selected this means we are able to do a merge save. Most changes will involve what is called a merge save. This is where the configuration is saved back to the phone system without the need to reboot the system. If the system required a reboot, then the immediate option would already be selected once you have clicked save. Once you have chosen your method of saving, then simply click the OK button and, you, and then enter the username and password. And then after that, once you see this screen, that means that the changes have been saved back to your phone system. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.